Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. And in this video, we're going to be designing a brand new media request form to help us stay organized with all those requests, especially if you're starting to do video announcements or just want to get a handle on all the stuff that's going digital on your website, social media, and all that other stuff for your ministry. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. So we're going to use as much free stuff as possible. Um, now I will let you know right now what I'm doing. You can do with any Google account, but when you look at the account that I'm getting ready to use this, um, our ministry has signed up for Google workplace. So we have all the features of Google stuff, but it's under our own domain, but everything I'm doing, you can do as well too. So let's go ahead and cut over to my computer screen. Now I'm going to be leveraging Google forms for this. And like I said, this is a part of the suite that we have, but you sign up for a Google account, you can do this. It's all up under docs. So before we get started, well, actually when we get started, let's go ahead and go to a blank form. Now, if you don't want to do this, you could try and modify a form that's already been made. Me personally, I like to do blank one, a blank one and start from scratch. So I know exactly what's going in there and I can easily add and take away because I know this is going to go and grow with time. So let's go ahead and go to blank. Now, again, I know I'm, um, uh, <laughs> doing a little much on this, but I like to have my stuff look a certain way. So we're going to go over to Canva, which is another app that you can sign up for free. And I have it under our um, media ministry account. That's where all this stuff is being designed. I'm going to make a new design and the header image that goes on the top of that form is a specific size. So actually I'm going to scroll up and go to custom size and it is 1600 by 400. All right. So I'm going to utilize some stuff that like, I like this layout right here. And let's modify this a little bit. I have a couple of images that I've already pulled down from pexels.com. Again, another free website. And I'm going to just drag this over here and I'm going to drop it down. It's just a picture of a computer phone and camera kind of understanding that this is media. All right. Now we use a specific font for everything that we're doing in the media ministry. And that happens to be league Spartan for right now. So I'm just going to change the text of this and just call it a media ministry request form. All right, let's highlight it all. Let's change our font here and let's crank this up in size. I want this to all be in one line. Now, do you have to do this? No, you don't. I just want to do it this way. All right. So that works. Now let's center it and I'm going to make this box fill out the whole thing as well. And now we're just going to add the ministry here, signs and wonders ministries. I'm going to use the same font, which is league Spartan. Let's crank this up. works and let's center it to right here. All right. I'm going to group these so it makes it easier for me to move this around. And we're going to just add the church's logo. I'm going to put it inside the phone. All right. Something like that. Or well, we could do it to the side. It doesn't really matter as long as it's not blocking our text. All right. So there we go. There's just that. Let's go ahead and download this. All right. So we got our image. Now let's go back over to our form. Let's give it a title. Um, I'm just going to call it media request form version one. All right, 
So we're gonna go up here first and let's customize our theme. And I want to load the image. This is the one we just made. And there we go. Look at that, ain't that so nice and pretty? Boom. And we might wanna come in here and play with the colors, but you know, not that big of a deal. Um, you wanna do a form description. I'll probably put this in later, but this is the form, the gateway. If you want anything from a media ministry standpoint, posting to social media, announcements, whatever, this is gonna be the form that's gonna be that. All right, now let's break this down into a couple of things. So we wanna say, um, you know, um, where do you want this posted or whatever it is, or um, what type of request it is. Um, um, so we'll say, I don't know, I'll say, where do you want this? Well, let's do a, what type of, what type, uh, kind of hard to put it into words. It's like, what type of request is this? Of request do you have? And we'll give it some options. Um, website, posting, social media posting. Um, video announcements, what else? And this is why I said this is gonna grow with time. And I would probably say, I'm gonna leave it just as those three for right now. All right? And it is multiple choice. That's the type of option we're gonna do. And just realize you, you don't have to worry about this being in stone, but the idea this is gonna grow. So I do want to make this required because we just don't want anybody just to do whatever. All right, now let's add a, another question. And then no matter what it is, it's like um, description. Well, please enter description. for your request. And we're gonna give it a paragraph and give them the space to put it in there. And that also is gonna be required because we want to know exactly what they're picking. All right, now what else do we have? It could be we want to um, allow them to add, add some type of content. Let's see what else they have. Um, we can do file upload. And we wanna allow them to upload files to Drive. So that's gonna be in the Google Drive of the account that we're using. I'm gonna say continue and um, um, file upload. And I'll just do optional. And that reminds me, I need to do a video announcement that I think that will cover that as well too. Allow only certain types of files. I might check that off because I don't want people uploading crazy stuff. So we'll say document, spreadsheet, PDF, video, presentation, image, audio. So I think now I don't want to do a spreadsheet because that might be a pain to do. So I'll leave it as something like this. And we're going to limit the maximum size to 100 megabytes. I think that should be more than enough. All right. Um, and you gotta think, what else would that be? Oh yeah, we need to have a date. When do they want this to be shown? And so we'll say date. When do you want, when should this, I can spell right, should, but, this be displayed. And then we'll add another one here. We're gonna make that required. And then we'll say, when does this request expire? And we'll say this is 
well, this is going to be optional. Um, so if they decide not to put that there, eh, we're fine with that. We just want to know when it needs to be displayed. So if they make an announcement and it needs to go up a month from now, we need to know that so that we're not putting it up um, earlier than it needs to be. All right. Um, I think that is it. And like I said, it's not a lot that needs to go into this, but just realize this is a beginner. This can grow with time. So um, let's add a little description here. Please submit a request form for each request needed by the media ministry. If you have any questions, please email us at, and I will add that later on so I don't put that out there so y'all can see it. Um, but that's it. Now, like I said, we can always come in here and change the change the font and all this other stuff, but I don't think that's really that important. So let's go ahead and preview it real quick. And there we go. I got to make sure that I um, blur that out. I wasn't expecting that, but there we go. There's our form. Now, let's come on back here, and what we want to do is embed this. Well, actually, let's come back. We go to responses. This is where we can see the results. It's going to put it inside of a spreadsheet so we can see how everything is going. Then we also have settings. Um, make this a quiz? No. Manage our responses are collected and protected. Um, collect email addresses, eh, yeah. Send responders a copy of the response, I would say always, so that they see it. Allow response editing. Responses can be changed after submitting. I would say yes, so that way we're not doing extra stuff. Restrict the user in Signs and Wonders Ministries and its trusted organization. Respondents will be required to sign in to this. I wanna say no for that for right now. Manage how this form um, responds and presents. Let's see what that does. That show a progress bar? Mm, nah. Shuffle question order? No. Confirmation message, your response has been recorded. Mm, let's change that to, we have received your request. They'll receive, right? Please email us if you have any questions on your request. Something like that. Something nice. Show link to submit another response. Yes. View results summary. No. Restrictions disable. Autosave. Eh, not a big deal. All right. So I think we're good. So what I want to do is see how we can embed this. And I'm going to go ahead and do send. I don't think I need to do that right now, but there's our, um, this form cannot be embedded because it makes use of file upload. Ugh, that stinks. All right. So let's see if we can, well, it's not that big of a deal. What we can do is this link here is what we're going to share and put out on our website and anything like that so that people can submit it and that's pretty much it. Now, you could share this on Facebook and Twitter and all this other stuff. You can send it through an email or everything like that. But ultimately, I want to have this posted on our website so that we have everybody funneled to go there to do requests. Because last thing you want is to, oh, I got to check the email. Oh, I got to check this document. Oh, I got to check this. Oh, this person sent a text to this person. We want to streamline and organize our media ministry requests so that they come from one place. It's not going to one person. This is the shared media ministry email. So anybody in the media ministry has access. I never want this to just come to me. I don't want it to just go to one person because if it comes to one person, you're counting on that person all the time. It needs to be that the media ministry is a team effort and you have a bunch of people in the team and all of them have access to everything. So if one person is there, not there, then whoever else is there can still do the same functions and have access to everything. So that's about it. 
really straightforward. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. Now, this was done through Google Forms. I've used other methods before, but this was the free one. Yay. And there's some other ones, but let me know. Do you do something like this? And if so, what type of um, platform do you use? I'd love to know because I am building this all from scratch here for Signs and Wonders. And hey, I am always the student. And if there's another tool that's out there that can be used, um, I know about MailChimp and all these other ones. But hey, we have Google access to all those apps. Why not do it that way? But let me know down below what you use. And if you don't mind sharing, love to see it. So that way, I, maybe I can get some ideas to enhance this basic version one form. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ and we will catch you on the next video later. <music>